Okay guys, winter's coming, it's a cool morning here at Asprey Hall Golf Club and today we're going to be showing you how to cure your yips with your chipping. Welcome to me and my golf TV. Okay, so today we're talking chipping. We've got a question through Facebook from Han Hannah Adode saying that she's struggling with the chipping yips, Pierce. Okay. So, and this is one I wanted to talk about because this has sort of happened recently with a few of my clients when I've been coaching. Just something that's, that's a regular occurrence. Now, when it comes to chipping, it's very different to what we're trying to achieve on the golf course with a long mm -hmm. shot, Pierce, in, in the fact that with a long shot, we are trying to create distance. Yes. Now, short game is very different. We want to control distance. So that has an effect on what we do. Now, um, with the longer shots, Pierce, creating distance, what do we want to do? We want to accelerate. Accelerating, we're ripping through that golf ball. So we're, we're actually sort of degenerating some speed and we are accelerating hard through the golf ball. Now, in short game, we don't really want to have a conscious acceleration. Now, it's very difficult to switch from hitting it hard to the short game where we're actually having to control the speed. Yep. And the number one thing that I see generally with a short game is that people don't switch from hitting it hard to controlling that speed. So let's just go through with one of the things that generally that we see, Pierce. Yeah. So the majority of the people that, that we sort of see with the short game is that the backswing gets very short because they are still accelerating. So what they do is they have a short backswing, they accelerate through, and the length of the backswing compared yeah. to the through swing is very different. Yeah. So just, just sort of go yeah. through that for us. So, so when, we, when we see this swing here, you're absolutely right. They, they've, they've been told maybe they should accelerate, and then they've, they have a short swing because if they accelerate, and they get sort of mixed up and it becomes a vicious circle. And, and I, for a fact, that when I speak to my clients about this swing, when they do a short, fast swing, that they, they're very tense. Yeah. So they have to grip hold of the golf club to control it. Now, as soon as you're gripping hold of the golf club, you can't feel the club head. So you've got, you, you feel. I think that's an important oh, yeah. part of controlling distance, that you have good feel. It's not about whacking it and it going a certain number. You know, you need to have that feel. So people often, when they're here, they, they have that short swing and got away with it on that occasion. But, you know, generally the contacts aren't that great and they can't control the distance. Yeah, so it not only affects the contact, the distance control becomes very different as well. And I think when what Hannah must be talking about, the chipping yips, you know, it, it, do, it will look fast. It will definitely look fast. But also the contact will suffer as well. So what we want you to focus on doing, again, maybe even film yourself doing these, but we want you to focus on the length of the backswing controlling the distance. And we want you to have a shot. And Pierce is going to demonstrate a shot now. Is that Just do a practice swing here, Pierce. And I want you to focus on n having no conscious acceleration. And I want you to think that when you're playing these chip shots that you're not accelerating. And the length of the backswing is going to produce the distance. So let's play a shot here now, Pierce. Just you hitting the shot, letting the club. So if you look at the difference in speed of that, okay, you didn't have a go at that pace. No, you didn't sure. go fast. There was, it was very much a smooth rhythm. And I think the number one priority with short game is getting that rhythm correctly. Yeah. As opposed to, I see a lot of my guys when I've got on the golf course with them, that it doesn't matter on what different length they play, the backswing is the same distance. And they either just, they just hit it harder or hit it softer as opposed to letting the length control the distance. I think you're right. And I, I get my students, and you, you see me do this as well, that I get them to throw a ball. So when they get a ball, they suddenly they're, they've got this chipping action, which is like this, and they pick up a ball and they, they do that. <laughs> and I go, okay, just do it a few more times and actually focus on what you're doing, you sort of feel what you're doing, and they, they kind of get it. And they go, okay, it's like throwing a ball. So then suddenly they come into the shot and they, they have this smoother, softer swing where they can feel the club head. Yes, they won't get the distance control straight away, but they get it pretty quickly. Yeah. Just by getting that, that, that smoothness to it almost. And it's, it's, it's been able to sort of switch from long game, which is hitting, yeah. to short game, which is controlling. And Pierce, you've got a great drill that you use yeah. with your clients that, that helps you actually just feel a little bit more of what the club is doing. For sure. I mean, I mean, if you want feel, a great way to develop feel is by closing your eyes. Okay. So distance control with putting and with chipping, and it sounds a bit bizarre, closing your eyes can actually help you do that. So you'll have to trust me that my eyes are closed here, but by having my eyes closed, I can, I've got to work really hard to feel the club. I'm not going to strangle the club. I'm not going to be short and fast because I won't have the control. So I'm actually going to hit this shot now with my eyes okay, closed. I was testing him out now. So here we go. Let's have a go. Honestly, they're closed. <laughs> Okay, so from there, eyes closed, and it really feels that I can feel the control. Oh, and lips out there. Nearly. Lips out. Uh, a little bit firm there, but I think what happens is generally when people close their eyes, it does two main things for me. It lengthens the swing because they've got to feel the club, and it also changes their mind's perception of the shot. Sometimes we see the golf ball as a tag, and that tag almost can get us a little bit sort of nervy and twitchy yeah. at the golf ball by closing your eyes. 
you can do this. And if there's anyone out there who is really struggling and really is sort of throwing the hands in quickly, you know, close your eyes and hit some shots. I've actually got some students of mine that actually play golf for a while, closing their eyes with their, and playing their chip shots. And it was just so much better for them. Definitely. Definitely. So I think from this, Hannah, I hope that helps for you. Again, make sure, I think it's really important to maybe even film yourself just to see if your backswing and through swing are this, a similar length, but have a go. And all you guys out there having a go, doing some chip shots, not accelerating. Okay. It's going to make a big difference. It's really going to help that feel and soften up that stroke. Hope that helps guys. Post your comments as usual, and we'll see you next time on Me and My Golf TV.